So we'll look on some properties and we still have a few more to go and cover. And right here, mostly what I want to look at these options for the vector based one, modifications. Um, for this one, let's select our layer. And you notice if we in a raster mode or a bitmap, they're not available options. As long as we're using the layer or vector, those options is available. Again, the vector is the pro version option. So if you don't have it, you probably will using a different versions. But again, I'm highly recommend to use it pro version just because of the power of the vector type um, brushes. But let's look first. And right here you see we have a button so we can click first. It just paint tool. So by clicking on paint tool, we're going back to normal paint mode and we can paint as we did before. One thing to notice when I start painting, you notice the previous is erased. So every time when I try create on the same layer, okay, like right here example, notice it is will erase my previous image. So be careful if you want to create over, you probably want to create a new vector layer and apply this way. So in that case, you will preserve your one layer under. Okay, and next we have it, our tool. When you work with a vector, powerful, it's yet you can modify it. And we have a two select tools. One, it's allowed you to select a single point and modify it. The another ones is allowed, and you can see the area right here. So you can increase actually um, select multiple points at the same time. Um, one thing about this selection, as we mentioned, you notice right here some of them oranges in a gray. An orange color, it's mean it's locked. So if I try to move this, for example, and notice these two, because they're locked, they don't move, they don't transform with other ones. So if I unlock them and start moving, notice they're moving as well. So this way it's kind of help you to lock specifically. For example, if I don't want to modify this curve, I leave it locked, unlock this and modify just specific curve in this way. Okay, so this is our selection. We also have it options to add and remove any specific point. And you can see I can just click to create new or click on existence and it switch from plus to minus so right here. And we'll just add as a plus additional point. So you can modify points, add and remove them as you need it. You can have it also global transformation. So right here, we just normal scale, rotate, just additional options. So you can modify, move it around, or, you know, just a kind of skew effect. You also have the start point. So this is initial. This is where the brush started. If I enable it right here, it's appear. So this is point where is my brush started. This has allowed me to take this point and modify it only the start point, initial start point. So I can create, um, expand or create some any additional effect to this. So overall, again, this is the over generic tool for all of this scale. And just to remember the last one is just for the start point for initial point when you're starting. This is overall a look on the properties in the tool, except one small thing right here. This is another global, which is applied to any of this brush, eraser, or other options. It is a zoom in and out. We also can zoom by using slider or by clicking and typing in. We also can undo, redo. So this is just generic tools that will be under. And this is a global to apply to all properties.